How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore Window Tinting and Paint Protection Film. And today I'd like to show you how to install a kit on the front bumper of a Tesla Model 3. So we've already washed the car and clay barred the front bumper and prepped all the edges to install the paint protection film. So we're just getting ready to start laying it on there. What we're going to want to do first is take out the tow hook tow hook cover I have no idea what those wires are for if somebody knows what those for what those are for let me know I'm guessing it's if the car is crashed uh, that does something maybe turns it into some towing mode or something All right, so once this is on here, what we want to do is start by lining up this area and this area. And at the same time, you want to make sure that this is fairly straight going over this direction. All right, so that's my initial tack point, and then I'm gonna stretch over this direction to this side. thing here where we're going to go to is we're going to stretch this to this area and this one to this area. Tack this part down. Get this part all squeegeed out. Oh. Mm. 
So what I did there is I squeegeed this side to the center and then this side to the center. And what that does is that makes sure that I don't squeegee everything like this way and then try to push it through an area that I already stuck down. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to distort the adhesive in that spot by pushing the water and air through it. And that will show up in the finished product. These I'm just going to leave here for just a minute. We'll come back to those. So all that's been up, squeegeed up. And then we're gonna take this down. Make sure you overlap a lot. <clears throat> you don't wanna leave any water behind. All right. Now, put some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol mixture in this top part. And then I'm just gonna take that over the edge and I'm gonna hold for just a couple seconds. And that'll help ensure that it stays down, doesn't pop back up. All right, now what we need to do is get these sides stretched. So we're gonna start over here since we're already working that direction. All right, and then since Caught it. Um, since I s stopped here and did this part, this adhesive has already started to, to cure a little bit. So what you don't want to do is just stretch from right from that line that's already there where it's wet and dry because that line has already started to cure a bit. And what that, that will do is that'll leave a stretch mark right down this line. So what we want to do is squeegee over just a little bit, even if it's just an inch or so. And that'll give us a new line to stretch from. All right, so what we're looking for is to line this up here. It's hanging over a little bit there, so we're, trying, we're gonna stretch till we get that mark to there. And then we need this to be over the edge there. All right, and then sin since the fingers start right here, I'm gonna squeegee basically all the way down to those. And then we're gonna stretch this down to get rid of those fingers. We're gonna again, make sure that we're hanging over the edge a little bit. We wanna keep that fairly uniform, as well as this little piece here. This is going to wrap all the way to this edge. So just keep an eye on that part. Make sure you're lined up correctly.
Let's rinse all those with alcohol so they start curing. Terrific. Okay. Just gonna re-wet re -wet that down a little bit, but we're not gonna tack that down. Um, it's more crucial that we get over there and, and work with this area on that side so that we don't end up leaving a stretch line here. Don't like to sit it for, let it sit for too long. All right, so this is a, <laughs> it's a good teaching moment here. Don't let the film flap over on itself and touch adhesive to adhesive. It can, it can touch there, but don't let it start to dry there. I left that sitting for way too long. And what can happen is when you do get that to peel back off, you can distort the adhesive, or sometimes you'll even pull the adhesive off of one side because it's the two adhesives stuck together. Um, I got lucky. All right, so we're gonna re-wet down that line. And then we're gonna squeegee over about an inch or so. Just so that we're not on that same line. And we're gonna give that just a few seconds to start setting up and then we're gonna do the stretch. And again, we're going to stretch to this little corner and then so we're hanging over just a little bit. You want to make sure you're lined up real good right here under the headlight as well as right here above the blinker. Got some little fingers here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit those with a little bit of alcohol just to get the make that adhesive a little bit more aggressive. And we're gonna push that out. Okay, now we're gonna stretch down this way again to get rid of these fingers here. What I'm doing here is double checking to make sure that's gonna line up correctly. These kits are cut extremely precise, so if you're hanging over the edge, then you have to trim it. So it's it's best just to go right to the edge and eliminate needing, you know, the less trimming you do on the car, the better. It's, um, save yourself a bunch of time. It's also important when you're stretching this down, not to like stretch like this and get this bottom wavy. Because this is a kit, there's actually the bottom piece lines up against this. So what you wanna do is you wanna stretch from up a little ways from the bottom. All right. And again, we have a little finger. Go ahead and put some. Rubbing alcohol mixture under there. Help get that adhesive real tacky. And we're gonna push down. So what I'll do a lot of times is those corners, we do a lot of Teslas. <laughs> so I'm gonna push and hold with my thumb and then that's done right there. We got a little finger here. I'm gonna go ahead and just get all these little edges in case something decides to pop up. 
I can just push it right out. So we're going to lift this back up. It doesn't need much stretching, but just for good measure, we're going to go ahead and push a little bit of water, about an inch soapy water, push it out about an inch so that we don't get a stretch line. Hmm. Actually, so I think that this little cut is supposed to be like come up almost against this. So we're going to just let this part hang and we're going to stretch over with this part not tacked down. So what I'm doing in there with my fingers, I'm feeling the edge and I know the material is right at the edge without going over. You don't want to, uh, it's tough to trim back in there. So best you just get it in the right placement the first time. Okay, then we're going to squeegee all this down. Okay. All right, we've got a couple fingers again, little ones here, and then this guy. And then just always be double checking for water bubbles or air pockets underneath the material. They're so easy to get out right now and then give it another minute or two and you're not gonna be able to get them out of there without using a needle. All right, so I'm gonna, this part's got a little bit of tension on it, so I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna hold right in the center. And if you got an area where fingers keep popping up, you can also take your towel and dry them out. Just go to the edge and then follow it right up with the towel and get that moisture out of there and that'll really help that edge stay down because it doesn't have the moisture. If the moisture is sitting on the edge, it'll actually run back in there a little bit. It'll loosen up that edge and go back underneath the material. So if you're having an area that doesn't want to stick down real easily, then go ahead and, and dry the edge off with a towel. So you don't want to pull this back at all right here. Like you don't want to lift up and pull back any further than it's already got, uh, than the water is. Because if you try to pull back into this area, you're definitely gonna, it, it's a lot more effort to get rid of that line you're gonna leave in the adhesive from lifting it. All right, we wanna get that about a one inch in there again. And it, again, we'll leave this not stuck so that it'll stretch a little bit and help that to come a little bit closer. Okay, and here I'm hanging over just a little bit on the top and that's part of why that finger is there. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. And actually, I don't like that little gap. Let's see what we can do about that. So. All 
All right. Go in there. Okay, so most things are stuck down. So things that we still need to work on are going to be mostly under here and then there's also the wheel wells and then we can also wrap these parts in go ahead and like pre kind of prep those with some rubbing alcohol to basically that rinses all the soap we water out let's see if we can get a better angle on that uh, yeah better all right some of this can just this is probably going to need some alcohol. This is probably going to need some alcohol in it. This will probably just stick down with the... Just after you squeegee it out. Couple, couple little fingers. wrapping that in and then just make sure and go back over top of that and get all the moisture out. Okay, and then this one, just easy enough to do with your finger. And just for good measure, make sure that all the moisture's out of it. All right, continue over here. I've already sprayed that down with some of the rubbing alcohol. So what I'm gonna do is this goes down, I'm gonna reach in and hold it with my finger and that just basically helps hold it in place so it just doesn't start popping back up. And then with the alcohol mixture in there, that just ensures that it doesn't just continue to lift itself up. So, and then once it gets just a couple seconds of my finger on it, it's stuck down and ready to be released.
All right, get this top the corner down up here, and then. Not quite stuck right here. All right. And so what I've done there is just gotten it barely over the edge and then we're gonna do this technique. I don't know what it, I call it chomping. We're gonna chomp away at it. Okay, I'm gonna start again up here and get that little corner kind of tucked down. I'm gonna run this over the edge just a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and chomp that down. Okay. And also, I mean, these areas, you know, it is tight turn right there. So those areas do like to pop up a little bit or they, you know, they're a little bit more particular. The other side went down real easy. This one didn't go down quite as easily, but still and fairly easy. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because we're going to come back in the end and um, heat seal all the edges. So that's going to get retouched up anyway, even if it does start to lift a little bit again. All right, just this last one. Now because this sat for a little bit, it was pretty dried out, so I'm gonna put a little bit more alcohol on it. I don't like to wrap those over completely dry because if you flip it over and you don't have really good consistent pressure, you leave a little air pocket in there, it's pretty sealed. And then you really have to pick the material up to get it back out. So I prefer just to add a little bit of moisture in there. I find it's it's easier to do it that way. All right, again, just in case any area is completely dried, I'm gonna put a little bit more rubbing alcohol mixture on this. And then we're gonna wrap that down in. So I'm just rounding that top edge a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and chomp it down. That's another technique is to go over it and hold. Then you can come back and chomp it down.
All right, so now what we have left to do is to trim out. So actually, we we did install a kit. Let me make sure I can see, you can see what I'm doing. So I did install a kit, but the one thing that we do here is in an area like this, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part by hand as well as On the Model 3 2023, there's no parking sensors on this car. So I don't have to worry about those, but that would also be another part that I would go ahead and cut by hand. Um, a lot of times the kits are really good. They've got great placement for the parking sensors. Uh, I just don't wanna have to, it's easy enough for me to cut around them. And then I don't have to pay attention to that exact spot while I'm installing. I already know my points I like to stretch to and so that just gives you another focal point that you have to pay attention to. All right, so what we're gonna do here is gonna trim this off. Okay, and all I was doing right there was there was a little puddle of water stuck in there. So I was just wrapping this material in, soaking up the water, and then we're just gonna let that dry right there. All right, let's go ahead and put this bottom piece on. Go ahead and make sure all your edges are dry and down, because we are gonna be pressing pretty hard on these edges with the next piece of material so we can get a really, really tight seam. Almost, almost, uh, I mean, make it so tight we can barely see it. All right, so I just checked all these edges. So there's gonna be, as far as seams go on this, it's gonna be all the way across the bottom. So we're gonna have four different points where we're going to, where the bottom piece is going to interact with the top piece of the bumper. And that's gonna be on here, on here, and then the same thing on the other side. So we want those edges to be down really good so that when we slide this material and butt it up to it real tight, it doesn't pop it up. So even with something like this, I'd probably normally would let this cure for a while and then I'd move on to maybe do like a hood or um, let's see from here, from the bumper, we always go to hood. So I would do the hood and then I would come back and put this piece on. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this on through. That's pretty good.
All right, so with this part, I'm going to start right here and marry these two together. Put a little pressure on that with my thumb. I mean, pretty solid amount of pressure and that just helps that part stick down real good. And then what I'm gonna do is stretch this over and then up a little bit to keep, to keep it real tight against this other, the top piece of material. All right, that went way better. That went way better. So let's go ahead and stretch this over. So I'm gonna stretch up into there and get those, that part stuck down. Actually, I'm just gonna go back to the way I was supposed to be doing it. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is stretch this over to here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is tighten this up right here. I'm basically just gonna stretch it right up to that edge. All right, 
Now that I've got all this down, we're gonna stretch all the way over to there. This is basically the next point that we need to stretch to is right there because we don't want to be over too far. So I'm going to stretch it to there and then I'm going to bump it right against this seam. Now let's go ahead and uh, get this part straight on this back edge. All right, now we've got a couple fingers, or more than a couple, quite a few that don't want to stick down, so we'll get some rubbing alcohol in there. Spot's just a little bit over, but we'll go ahead and trim that by hand later. Uh -huh. Put a little stretch, stretch this way and bump it up into this piece.
See, there's a few fingers here that are coming back up. So what I'm gonna do is push all this out and then follow it up with the towel and just dry up all that moisture. And then we'll go ahead and let that cure All right, we'll let that dry for a while and then I'll see you back here in a bit. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is just do a little walk around on this job where it stands now. And then this is all finished work that's left here. And actually I wanna do that on a separate video that's specifically about uh, finishing off edges, trimming, you know, just things like that. So as far as the install on this bumper goes, it's basically complete other than just wrapping things up. So I've got to do heat press some of these edges down. So I'll go ahead and show you. And there's one spot over on the other side that's right in here on the other side that I've got to go ahead and, and trim off. So I'll just show you around a little bit on that stuff and then uh, we'll wrap this one up. All right, so let's take a look here. So I do have to go back and we're going to heat seal all these edges to finish it up. Go ahead and finish wrapping this one. Looks like we've got some few little fingers on the bottom here that will push right out now that they're a little bit dry. Uh, wrap all these edges. You can see this edge, right? Uh, let's see, right there. There we go. You can see it now. So that'll get wrapped down in there, and then and then heat sealed, so it stays stuck down. So what I'm going to do here is just wrap this in, and then I'll put a little heat on it and finish wrapping that in and that will be good. So other than just heat sealing the edges and pushing down little things, um, I've got a little spot here that I'm going to have to trim. And that's it. Other than that, this looks great. All right, well, my name is Brent from Encore Window Tinting and Paint Protection Film. I appreciate you taking a look at my tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful. We'll see you on the next one.